What's happening? Andy here. I'm joined today with two guests from Toshiba America Business Solutions. I have Kirsten Woods and Manny Sahu. How are you guys doing today? Great. Yeah, how are you doing? Andy. Very well, very well. I wanted to uh, bring you guys on and on the show today and, and, and chat a little bit about a big announcement you guys had earlier this week, uh, or was it last week? It was very recent. Um, you have uh, made a big announcement in the world of, uh, of print management, right? So uh, I don't know who wants to take it. Kirsten, why don't you, you tell us what you announced and then Manny, maybe you can tell us what it means and how it works. Excellent. Sounds great. Yes. Yeah, so this week we announced eBridge Global Print, which is really focused on capturing the power of the cloud in order to make printing to Toshiba devices extremely simple, very secure, and really productive. It is all about uh, making sure that we can get just radical sim print simplicity. You get to print to just one global queue. And from there, pull down out of the cloud the documents that you want to print, uh, where you need them, and uh, securely. So it's a really great advancement for cloud print management for Toshiba. So this was um, a product developed by Toshiba. Was this something you guys did, or is this a partnership product? Uh, this is Toshiba IP. So Toshiba developed and uh, really excited about that. Very cool. So. Uh, I think kind of building on some momentum in, in print management last year, I think it was Google uh, ended their universal print driver. And, and I believe that's a big part of this. Manny, why don't you tell us, you know, dig in a little bit and why is this a big deal? Uh, remote workers, everything going on right now. How does this play into that? Um, why don't you guys, uh, Manny, why don't you fill us in on some of that? Well, this is a big deal, right? Last year or, or year before Google got out of this, but then last year Microsoft was very big on cloud print with their, with their universal print solution. And uh, but, so you, you can tell that last couple of years, people have been sort of everywhere, working from home, working from cafes, wherever they are. So our we wanted to come out with a solution that that, that more or less targets that market, which means you should be able to print from anywhere without having to worry about uh, print drivers and uh, print servers and IP addresses and things of that nature. So this solution that we're gonna uh, talk about today is it addresses specifically that part of so it. Essentially, it's a cloud print solution. It's a full print solution that's on the cloud and, and the biggest part of this is it does not need any kind of uh, uh, your on-prem infrastructure, no print drivers, no print servers. You have heard this before again, but we'll also go even further. Uh, the admin would literally have to do, do not have to do anything at all. Uh, all the users that if you, if you are a customer today and if you're using, let's say, um, uh, how many people use uh, Microsoft 365 or even a Google Workspace, work, Workspace today, right? So we are able to get all those users into our system. So you don't have to create users in our system. We will hook up, hook up to your, uh, your uh, Microsoft tenant and authenticate users that way. So essentially, if you are a, a small to medium-sized business or any types of education, any types of verticals where you have people all around and they just want print. And again, I would go back to what you said earlier, it just works. You go just print and it will it'll go pull out from the any of the Toshiba devices. You literally don't have to rely on any print servers, any print drivers. Admin doesn't have to do anything. There's a self serve portal uh, as well that where the user can get the pin numbers. It's, it's just so simple and easy. Uh, it takes a lot of IT over it out of, out of the IT admins. Uh, so again, they literally don't have to worry about print. Our goal is to have a customer, and I'm going to say, go on the record saying this as well. Our goal is to have a customer up and running in 15 minutes. Wow, uh, very, you know, very ambitious, uh, very so, ambitious. Yes. So let, let me stop you just for a second and ask. Um, let's back up, and and you know, before you announced this, as of two weeks ago, you know. They had a very, your Toshiba dealers, resellers, pretty much most companies out there had a very uh, set, you know, regimen they would go through when they would do an installation, whether it was one or two or 10 or 20. So moving to this new, um, this new announcement, this new platform, right? What, what steps are taken out? What, you know, how, how more, much more efficient is this? How much more secure is this? I guess that would be a really big one with people 
um, working remotely. Right now, they're more vulnerable. You don't know what they're using if they're just buying things on their own. Um, so you're you're kind of acting as a gatekeeper with this software. I'm, I'm I'm guessing. So you know what what are you what steps have you taken out? What are you doing a lot better now as a result of moving this to the cloud from the server and 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 talk about security a little bit. You want to take it? Yeah, go for it. Um, so what we have done at last year, this is actually a product of, of, of our bigger portfolio. Last year, we talked a lot about our uh, Elevate Sky portfolio of uh, cloud products. We launched several solutions last year. For example, the, some of our service tools that pretty much deploys everything to the cloud, right? be it your firmware, be it any of the settings, be it your security policies. We're able to all do all that through the cloud. That, that's something we launched last year. Um, the, this is one of the additions to that uh, Sky Elevate Sky portfolio, the eBase Global Print. And this is a print service. And again, everything is done through the cloud. So for example, if you have to device, you have to install something, there's an app that goes on the device that of MFPs. Let's say you have 50 MFPs that you're deploying it. So we have this app up in the cloud. You can deploy this app into all your uh, all your 50 MFPs, including any of the settings that goes with it. So you literally it's like a policy that you create on our on our Elevate Sky uh, portfolio of Sky service that kind kind of deploys that onto those 50 MFPs. Does it deploy them all at once, or does it deploy them? Do you go individual machine by machine, but just you have the settings pre-configured? The way it works, uh, Andy, is, is we have a policy set up in the cloud. And what the devices do is that the devices that are on the uh, that are connected to the cloud, they're going to pull those policies down. So once they're on, the yeah, they, they so, just do it. And they just do it. But the only thing is, you, you, and you can actually configure when these things are supposed to happen. Let's say you don't want it to happen to work, work hours or, or whatnot. So that can be all scheduled. So they actually pull those application and you have the settings they actually pull those down uh, onto the device so uh, and it could vary from device to device as well depending on your schedule let's say you want this location to do be done today and this other location to be done uh, let's say in in a couple of days from now so you can schedule all that uh, through our portal as well so that's very cool that, yeah that's something we have taken so our goal is to really again i, I can't emphasize enough to get any kind of uh um, headaches or any kind of work uh, out of the admin, really, so that it's just, they don't have to do anything. And that's how we make it a lot easier for the dealers or resellers to sell these solutions as well. It's not just uh, just for us to easy to manage. The dealers don't really have to do a whole lot to be able to support their customers. This is a sell sold through channel. I might talk about that later as well. Well, and then moving, you know, an additional benefit is the added security that you mentioned in the press release and then in, in, in your intro. Um, what did you do to take things up to that next level? I mean, you know, obviously security has to evolve with every new uh, launch of every new product, right? And so I would expect this would be the best and most secure platform that you have right now. But what what have you done and what is what what is it, you know, how does it help people who are um, who are using it? Yeah, I'll take this one. So uh, security, as you mentioned, is top of mind for everybody. So a uh, couple of key things. Uh, when you print to the global print queue, uh, your documents are going to be converted into a PDF, which is great, right? Universal format, maintains the consistency, it's compressible, uh, secure. You're going to then send that to the cloud over an encrypted channel, so very secure there. It's going to reside in a highly secure leading industry cloud. Uh, and then it's not going to be released to the device until you're there releasing it with your individual pin or your badge. So no more confidential prints sitting on the printer, uh, no more wasted prints as well. You're going to go up and you're going to select from the print queue on the device which things you want printed. So if you had printed one previously and made some changes, Previously, that one would have been waste. Now you're just not going to select that when you release it to the device. So, um, you know, really strong end-to-end -end security as well as, you know, just efficiency and cost savings that's really inherent in it as well. 
If, if I may add yeah, absolutely please. as well, so, and this is also hosted on, on Azure and AWS. So, but inherently we do use those as our infrastructure to, to host this application as well. So they, they come with the standard uh, security practices and we also have our uh, ISO 27001, which is how you manage the information uh, on your cloud hosting. Uh, we are also getting the compliance for 27017 uh, as well, which is also involved how you manage your information up in the cloud. Uh, so those are some of the certifications, uh, but the, and then also besides all the process wise, how the document goes and how it gets released and all that process is through the encrypted channel anyways. Um, so, so all the data I mean, that we, we store uh, they are stored as a blob storage so that there's nothing like a user identifiable stuff that you can get out of the data. Uh, so those are, we actually have a good white paper on this as well that we offer to whoever wants to, wants to go through that. And so let me ask you, you, you did mention um, backing up the installation process, right? So the, the fact that you authenticate through, um, you know, through Microsoft, we were just, you were just talking about, but you also mentioned Google Workplaces, that's got to be the majority of what customers are using at this point, right? So for anybody who's using those, talk about the advantage of the fact that now you're using that, you know, that solution, either Microsoft or, or Google and those workflows. What, how does that benefit, you know, the, the Toshiba customer and the Elevate customer and, the, and, and somebody using your new universal print drivers? Yeah, well, Andy, you're spot on in terms of it. The target market is very broad because most people have, standardized on one of those two key tools. So absolutely uh, a great opportunity. Um, a, they've already adopted those tools. B, they already understand the value of cloud. Uh, and so that really enables us to leverage the tools uh, that they're already using. So there's no learning curve from an end user perspective and there's no learning curve from an admin perspective. Manny? Yes, and, and one key advantage, if you're already using Google Work, Workspace or, or Microsoft, then you sort of already know at least adopted cloud to some extent in your business already. So it's really an easy sell at this point because uh, they have already adopted the cloud and only thing we have to tell them, look, we our application is also can hook onto on your users that's already existing in the cloud. You, you don't really, as an admin, you're not creating any new users in the application. You're, you don't have to worry about any of that. Only thing is you, the users log in to their, uh, the existing users that we have today with Azure. And if, if your user uh, leaves your company, they will not have any access to the application. It just goes away automatically. It cuts it right off. Yeah, it just cuts right off. Uh, so that's a big plus because number one, you don't have to manage users. Number two, there is no chance of your users, anybody else having access to the data after they've left the company. It's kind of like a security thing as well so that once you're not part of the, the, the company, then you no longer have access to any of the data. So in, in that sense, it's, it's a bit of a secure solution as well. And that's a big plus for the, the market that we're going, to, we're going after with this solution. So the product is, is for, obviously for Toshiba Direct, right? Um, but dealers, are they, are they, this I'm guessing just works across the, the product line. So everybody is going to be using this. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you have a good point about this from the admin perspective. Yes. Uh, that's actually a very good question and very good point. So it is sold through the channel. As you know, we have a direct uh, TBS channel. We also have our indirect dealer channel as well. So this product is available to, to everyone. Um, and also, uh, since this is a cloud solution, this is also structured as a uh, quote unquote, a managed service uh, type of structure. What that really means is that uh, there is a tabs of the hierarchical structure, the tabs, and underneath the tabs, we have dealers, then we have TBS, and each dealer or the TBS would have their customers underneath that. And nobody sees each other's data. They, they are each separate from, 
from each other for, for privacy reasons, the data privacy reasons. Uh, so for example, dealer one cannot see dealer two the data, even TBS cannot even see the any of the dealer data. Even we as TAS, we cannot even see um, any any dealer's data data in the sense we'll customer. That's a big data. deal for them. That is a big, big, a big deal. deal for them. And, and we have that in mind that hey, we're not we're not looking at your data. It's, it's, it's an easy solution for you to sell. Those are your customers, you manage them, you handle them. Um, and and only thing we offer is the support. If you, there is an issue, you can call us, we will support you uh, from a technical standpoint. Other than that, and uh, uh, to be honest, uh, Andy, that there's not a whole lot to support. I, like I said, I would emphasize again, it just works. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Well, exciting news from you guys. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to come on and explain it in a little more, in a little more depth. Uh, you know, it's always nice when we can get get some flavor on top of a press a one page press release, right? You can only get a little bit from it, but it seemed like there was quite a bit in that in that one page, and I wanted to unpack that a little bit. Any last messages? Any last words uh, for for the audience? Kirsten, I'll start with you, and then Manny, you wrap up. Yeah, you know, again, it, I think these are really relatable pain points that people experience when they're trying to print and it's complicated. And we just want to take that off the table. We want to make it so simple and easy to print to Toshiba devices that it's out of the mind of end users and it's out of the mind of IT. And I think this makes really great strides towards that. We've also made it really easy to sell a low, you know, single price add-on um, for the life of the lease of the device. So, uh, you know, it, it's just a, a really easy opportunity to go out there and, and make print simple so that we can really drive productivity even faster for end users. So we're really excited about it. Very cool. Very cool. Manny? Well, thank you. Uh, one thing I would add is that, as, as, as we know, this, this is part of our bigger portfolio of Elevate Sky solutions. So, so we last year we did a couple of services. This year we're doing this. And towards the end of this year, you're going to see more and more services um, under that Elevate Sky umbrella. Uh, so I would say stay tuned for that. But but uh, from the Toshiba standpoint, I can I can assure you that we're pretty much going all in on the cloud cloud side. So it's like the sky is our portfolio of everything that we sell today, and more or less everything we'll be selling tomorrow. That's that's cloud enabled. Well, cu so customers expect the cloud, right? I mean, we've yes. we've it's not just our industry; it's every part of their life. And nobody wants a server anymore. Nobody wants to deal with it. And by the way. Try getting a server right now. I would imagine if it's anything like any other part of my life, it's probably it's probably you know constrained, and you get it sometimes. You don't get it other times. Isn't it nice when it's just in the cloud and and somebody else has already got the server, right? I mean, that's kind of what it is, right? So great point, absolutely. Yeah. The last point I would make, Andy, you've been in this business for forever, for a long time. So I would say we're not trying to reinvent print here. Print has been there, and full print has been there for quite some time. That's, that's not the new, new technology. What we're really done is, you again, make it really simple for everyone that nobody would have to even think about print. You plug it in and it just work. Um, that's, that's, that's our goal. Well, IT will love it if it's simple, right? I mean, that's their biggest gripe is just the complexity of things, especially when they're they're just overly engineered and, and they and sometimes they just don't work right. But if you just keep it simple, if you plug in to systems they're already using and with, with you guys, with Microsoft and Google, you've done that. Um, you know, you, you, you really just took something that was working very effectively, but had kind of outrun its its course. And, and now you've, you've kind of you've really moved to this next level, this next this is the next th big thing, the cloud, right? Everybody's moving into it. Everybody is um, building all of their resources around it. And, and, and obviously Toshiba took a, a nice big step in that direction, um, continued step on, as another piece of the Sky platform. So thank you guys. This was awesome. You guys have a great, great afternoon and, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. This was great. Yes, thank you. Take care guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.